Okay, so welcome back to Coral Draw 2022. I'm going to start off by showing you a couple of the new features. So, if we open a new document in this window, we can name it whatever we want. This one we're going to call Gecko. And we'll just stick with it being on an A4 page. We only want one page. Uh, and we'll put that, keep that in landscape, uh, in portrait. That's fine. That's okay. So we're going to go up to um, import, and we want to import our gecko images. So let's have a little look here. Import that. Drop that down. So I want to redraw one of these. Now, over here we've got this new learn tab, and learn is uh, rep has replaced hints basically. So if you were to select, let's just say the square, and you're on Learn, it shows you all the hints that come up here. So it shows you actually how to create a square. By holding down Control Square, Control draws the square, while holding down the Shift draws it from the center. So if I was to click and hold the Control, you can see that is a square. If I press the Shift at the same time, then it makes a perfect square, but draws it out from the center point. So that's one of the new features. Let's delete that. Now, I want to draw one of these. So as you can see, I've just picked this off of the internet. But what I'm looking for is to create the shape and then we'll make our own patterns. So first off, I've imported it. I'm going to lock that down. So locking it just basically means I can't adjust that. I can't move it while I'm drawing it, anything annoying. So my tool of choice is the Bezier tool. So I'm going to click on that. And we're going to work our way around this and create an outline of this gecko. So I'm going to start start about here. And I'm going to click. And I'm going to get to this corner. And then I want to start heading in that direction. So I'm going to click and hold. And as I start to move, don't worry if we go a little bit out at the moment. We're going to need to pull that line in there. Um, I'll let go. And then I want to be symmetrical over that side and do the same. And what I'm going to do is click and drag and pull each time. Let's so, say. And that's going to allow me. Now, if you can't get the hang of the dragging, what you can do is you can actually just click and create it like this. And what will happen when you eventually get to the end, I'm going to come out of that, press the select tool so I close the object off. So rather than work, work my way around the whole thing. But what I could do then is I can go back to my shape tool, select the outline, and then I can start to pull these bits around. Now, if I want to get rid of a node point, I'm going to double click on that, get shot of it like that. And this one, I'm going to want that one to come down here a bit further. And I want a bit of um, a rounded edge there. So what I'm going to do is select both those node points and then come up here and convert that to a curve. When I click away now, what I can do is I can click on that line and I can pull that in, make that a little bit um, rounded. I'm going to do the same there, select those three, do that. So here I can pull that out, pull that out. Now it's a little tricky because this is quite a pixelated image, but I just wanted to show you what you could do. And that one there, I can pull that one in a bit. Okay, now if you ever get to that point and you want to now carry on with the drawing, that's quite easy. So go back to your Bezier tool, find where you left off, and we'll start to move around. So I'm going to do click and I'm dragging, dragging in the direction that I want to change direction for the line. Okay, so I'm going to move around here, round. Come down here, down there, into his armpit. So uh, I'm to move around and pan, I'm clicking down on the mouse wheel and moving that. My roller on my mouse zooming in and out as I go. So with all these sort of things, you are going to try and make this up a little bit. You don't want to be copying someone's artwork completely. 
so you might well oh that's terrible making a few mistakes here as we move around quickly but we'll come back and tidy them up a lot of um, I found over the years you'll drag in you know uh, you'll drag in images and this is going to give you the basis for for what you're actually going to produce so I, I, what I like to do in my scratch pad here this area is import lots and lots of different um, oh dear dear oh dear lots of different images that give me inspiration um, oh man so I'm going to undo them control Z control Z let's come down here a bit more let's I need to do that um, and then that will that will formulate the foundation for what I want to start to produce deliberately making a few errors here as well make some square points some round okay let's go around here and here so what would you to end up with is a very quick outline and then we're going to whiz round and smarten it up make it look really good and then um, once we've got the outline sorted we can then work on the colour, the shading, uh, whatever we want to do. And then the outside and close. Okay, so very, very roughly. It always looks worse when you're zoomed in a lot further. Let's sort his tail out first off. So I'm going to click there. To be honest, I'm going to take that one out because I'm not sure I need it. Uh, so if you want to get rid of a point, all you've got to do is double click on it and pull that back over there. Smooth that round. Let's have a look. Let's pull this one down. Nice. And this one down a little bit as well. Good. Here, the handles really need to be flatter because it's a circle. You find that with the circle, you'd have um, your points on each side. There'll be four points there. I'm going to put a, a node in there and take this one out. It just feels a bit like it'd be a bit more natural. And then round here, I want to smooth those out as well. I'm going to double click that, get rid of that one, pull that down, pull that in. Here you've got um, a bit of an awkward cusp going on, so you need to find that handle that's right in there tight and pull that back out so we get a nice move. And what we're thinking about all the time is what machines and software, sorry, machine we're using to reproduce this. And if you've got a cutter, a vinyl cutter like a Roland uh, Cam 21 or something like that what you need to be thinking about is having the least amount of nodes because every time that blade moves it sees a node it's going to change direction the more nodes you got or points whatever you want to call them then the more jaggedy your artwork is going to be when it's on the side of your customers van or on the shop face so um, just keep that in mind I'm going to take this out of here remove some of these we don't need that we don't need that there uh, I'm going to add one in here and pull that across. This one's coming here. I'm going to add one in. Let's bring that round. That's going to come here. Let's make these um, ends. Yeah, they're already they're already curves. Uh, bring one in here. Bring that round. Take that out. And bring that down here. Put a node in and take this one out. Should smooth that edge. A little bit, not quite. Okay, that's right. Um, right over there, in. Okay, okay. I'm not going to do any more because we'd be doing that all day. I can drop some green into that now. Doesn't look too bad. Um, I've just got to sort that tail out because it's annoying me a little bit. Right now, let's just say that this is here. And we want that green. So if we want to match up with the green, I'm going to go with the color drop tool. And I think, oh, that's a nice green there. And I can drop that in. So that's literally reproducing that. And these colors down here are what's um, going to be um, the, your new makeup palette from your artwork. Let's drop in a couple of eyes. Um, I'm going to hold the shift and the control key down. One control C V, drop that one there, drop one there. So he's sort of coming over there. Let's whack in a couple of um 
Y eyes. Okay, for that one and for that. I'm going to select both of them. So click once, hold down the shift, click the other key, control C, control V. Um, I'm going to reposition those, make them black, and they can form the basis of his eyes a bit there. So I've got one there, one there. Shuffle them around a little bit. You can use your arrow keys left to right. Okay. If you wanted to put that path in the back there, again, that'd be quite simple. It'd be exactly the same process. We'll click there, follow that round down to the point there, back, round, top, and click and stretch up. And then that can go straight in the back there. We can make that yellow. Let's use that on that. We can add in these pieces if we want to as well, but simply by coming in here. Like so, and we would do that all the way down. Let's give it a bit of shape. So it sort of looks like it's following the contour of the back down. So you so get the idea, drop them in. We would reproduce that all the way down, drop them in there. Get rid of the uh, stroke by coming back up here or down here at the bottom and right clicking, and that will lose that as well. You can inch that across to give it a bit of shape. Um, and there we go. So that's the foundation starting to build a gecko. Um, so if we was going to call this company something like Gecko Gecko Electrical like that let's get rid of this now over here unlock that click on it, delete it get rid of those, so we can start to make this actually our own logo so we can find a nice font. So when you're doing the font, you click. When you're doing text, you would just click on the font, come over and click down, and then type in the text and over the top. Um, you don't. What you don't want to do, it's a common mistake, is click on the text and create a box because it works within the restraints of the box area or whatever box or circle you put down. So Gecko Electrical, let's find a nice font. If you need any resource of fonts, Free fonts go to dafont.com, dafont.com, um, and then you can end up with loads and loads of crazy, crazy fonts like this. There's about 2,000 on there, so we won't, um, we won't look too hard. Look too hard. There'd be too many on there. So let's put that down there. Um, we can. Uh, Manipulate the spacing by using the shape tool and stretching things out. Um, and the same in the height, so the spacing between the two lines if we want to. If we want, we could. Um, we would have him crawling across the top there. Something like that. And then what we do, right click and we'll get rid of the, the lines in there. Let's put in there. Um, so what we could do is we could make this the same green and then that could be that green underneath. So what we need to do is split the lines. So we go object, break gecko electrical apart. So now we've got two lines. If we did it again on one of the lines, it would split them into individual characters. So this one we could make in the green and this one we could make in the yellow. I'm totally flying by the seat of my pants here. The other yellowy green. No, Gecko Electrical, maybe that should be that one. And oof, don't know really. Tricky, eh? Um, but this is sort of your process of when you start building a design or a logo for a customer. Uh, another thing you can add in, you could create that in a box. So what I like to do at this point is if we were creating ideas for customers we could this is put that one there 
and we'll duplicate it over here and then we'll create the next idea so the next idea would come over here and we might put gecko electrical in there we might put that in the box um, let's lose the line so we right click on that and this one here control L we drop that in this can go over the top so this would we need to bring that forward so that could come down there so the O could be part of his tail even right so we want that to bring that forward um, that is control and home to bring it right to the front of the page um, but we can't see that because it needs an outline to show you so like that you see um, but I'll just select the outer edge and then it's only going to be that that's got the, the line on it the stroke around the outside I think the gecko would look better as the green yeah it's an idea so that's where we got to um, just a few ideas quickly to showing you how to use the Bezier tool, the shape tool, um, and the color palette. So we're picking up colors and just giving them a try, uh, mix matching them to the JPEG that we imported. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, see you in the next video.